Till vår försnack, en försmak av dem nu. Uh, I hate to say I told you so. Intresserad människa. Han är ju gammal sångare i punkbandet Dead Candidus. Och uh, han pratade om allt möjligt från presidentvalet i USA till det som hände i Göteborg. Uh, eller som skulle hända kan man väl säga eftersom det här var igår. Och så här såg det ut när jag träffade honom. Shut up! Be happy! Obey all orders without question. Hello, Jello. Welcome to Sweden. Thank you. You've been here before, a long time ago, even with the, with DK. But why are you here now in Holtsfred? I think you already know that. I'm here today. Did a spoken word performance today and a little guest slot with the Nomads, and then I'm doing some other shows of my own in Scandinavia. Shut up. The comfort you've demanded is now mandatory. At last. Everything is done for you. Now, you're doing spoken words uh, all over the world, but you're doing it here now at Hulsford Festival, and you had thousands of people sitting down, listening to what you had to say. I, I, I found it really, really cool that people take the time from partying and watching rock bands to hear a political message. Uh, does it usually work as well at in, at festivals where you do this? To some degree. I mean, it, it's a little tougher in, say, Italy, where I just was, because there's more of a language barrier, and the Italians don't know as much English, and punk nostalgia is huge there right now, and I refuse to just sing old songs the whole time. But uh, in the end, I just uh, figured out what English words people knew, and it got through after a while, although it wasn't as detailed as what I was able to do here. So um, I think it's just, um, you know, it's infotainment, if you will. If I came on as a lecturer or a politician, people would just go, ah, so would I for that matter. They have brought in horses, they have brought in dogs, they have brought in gas and clubs. People have responded, of course, by smashing windows of McDonald's. Surprise, surprise. I hear a bank got hit too, and, uh, but as much as I love the sound of breaking glass, to quote the old uh, Nick Lowe song, I'm not sure it's such a great tactic right now. I think people have finally decided enough is enough, and they see that their parents lived better than they're going to live, and they see all these attacks on freedom and more and more corporate branding where local brands go away and in comes Coca-Cola and Blockbuster Video, and they want a choice. They don't want to just have a Nike swoosh stamped on their forehead. Corporate dictatorship is the new Vietnam. Now, you're here doing a, a guest appearance also for the Nomads 20th anniversary. What's your connection to the Nomads? Oh, originally it's just a fan. You know, I, I, I um, you know, collected a lot of Swedish underground music, and then I, I guess the first one I got was their uh, nighttime, and I guess what was real cool, to, no, it wasn't real cool time on the other side of that. Anyway, the one with a green and later a purple cover, that single second one they did, and I, I liked it. It, was, it wasn't just another 60s-inspired punk garage band, but they had this really big, fat production with big guitars and kick-ass drums, and I guess at that point, through Amigo, they had access to really slick engineers. You know, you could add... Uh, uh, apply the ABBA wall of sound to garage music and punk rock, which I thought was great. I mean, those leather nun rock and roll records were like that, too. So I just always have just kept up with her music, and we became friends when we finally met, and always been a big fan of theirs. And uh, Sweden has a really good tradition of really big guitar, kick-ass garage bands. A lot of my message today was, uh, you know, there are ways to fight corporate power as an individual. Give them as little money as, your po as possible. Don't go to Blockbuster Video. Go to the Independent. Don't go to the Virgin Mega Store. Support the Independent Store with a good independent music. The local organic market where you're less likely to get genetically mutilated Franken food in your diet and not even know it. You know, go local and try to give as little money to corporations as you can. Try not to work for them, but if you must, at least remember that com computer age has given us a whole new frontier of sabotage on the job. 
And if you do decide to divorce yourself from the corporate food chain as much as you realistically can, try not to become a fundamentalist pope about it because that turns other people off to good ideas and i've seen it make people so miserable they turn around and go yuppie just because they see things in such a black and white way they don't see middle ground or the color you know pick a moral code an ethical lifestyle that you can live with and live up to which some people don't think i have some people i have but i try the best i can and it changes over time we're all human but doing something is better than doing nothing thing and uh, don't give up after all a prank a day keeps the dog leash away really not free at all yeah no